everybody. I'm doing a session for a client. I've done a previous session for this client, so please be sure to check the description for links. All right, we'll read the goals here and get started. Hello, Abby. I would really appreciate a look into what my purpose is here. I've always felt that I was an artist and leader of some kind, but not sure. Something might be blocking my flow. I've always struggled with money and career. On my last session with you, you mentioned something that had to do with clogged drain pipes. I feel that this might have something related to my question. The drain is blocked, so the water money cannot flow properly. You had mentioned this clogging was in my throat. Right now, I am working on making a living with my art, but I feel that I haven't found my flow or something yet. It's just not bringing me fruit. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you have fun with our session. Love you and thank you so much for your work. Aw, man, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. One thing's for sure. Um, our last session was last year in April. And so much about who you are can transform over time. So let's take a look at flow, financial flow. Um, what is your purpose? So are you meant to be an artist? Are you meant to be an artist plus or be doing something totally else that you haven't thought of? It's like too outside the box just yet. Um, but let's look at the, the clogged drain. Let's just see what's going on there. Is it still clogged? Maybe we're thinking about the past and still working on it in the present. Maybe there's a new way that we can bring everything up to date and start working forward um, with new information, new energy. Okay, I'm ready. I'm so ready for this. Okay. <sighs> okay. You know what, um, this first image, it, I basically I see um, a creative spirit in the human body, but the eyes are closed and the hand is moving the brush. And something, um, the creative spirit has to be put into the art. A an idea comes to me, do you do energy artwork? Do you do like energy activated um, artwork? Perhaps there is a new twist that you can put into your art where the spirit of creativity is flowing through you um, being put into the energy of the painting as an energetic activation and gift for others to feel the spirit of creativity in their own life. What if your art is to manifest abundance for others, which then manifests abundance for you? Isn't that an interesting thought? Like what if the what if the the mirror, the reflection in all of this is that um for you to manifest abundance, you have to let the creative spirit flow through you into your art um, and to to put something like um, the, the creative spirit into the art, um, some type of influence, spark, inspiration from, from the energy world um, that when, when someone receives your gift of artwork, they're receiving more than just a painting. Um, they're receiving the spirit of creativity to activate themselves in their own life, which is to activate and manifest, attract abundance for themselves in their own life. Because what is the spirit of creativity good for? It's for, it's freeing of our senses. It's letting the blessings flow in um, and flow through us and connect us with others, right? That's all the manifesting abundance flow going on there. And now we're talking about flow and drain blockages and stuff like that. Maybe we just need a snappy new um, twist on what you're doing um, because it doesn't necessarily feel like you're, you're in the wrong place or you should be doing it differently other than putting more into it on, on another level of, of the spirit of creativity <laughs> and what that painting can mean for others when they receive it. You know what I mean? But let's just see what the next thing is here. 
Okay, I, I'm just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I see the spirit of creativity in your body and you look tired and you're, the brush is moving, but you're um, not as animated as what is being put onto the painting. It's kind of amazing how you put um, color. <laughs> There's still like so much information here, but where are you at? Um, where, where are you at? When it comes to your own spark, what if you are the art? What if you're creating beautiful, bright, colorful paintings for others, but you yourself do not feel that way? But you are your own art, you know? So that is true of who and what you are is, is beautiful, bright, flowing colors. So how do we spark that within yourself um, to be aware of who you truly are and to allow yourself to be that now? You know what I mean? You ever feel so worn out from life? You just, you just, this is as good as I can do it right now. And I can't do it better than this because I've been, I've been running the marathon for so many freaking years. I can't do it anymore. I need something to change. I need something to spark. I need something out there to reach me in here because I can't reach myself in here anymore because I need help. Okay. It's kind of like, um, when I show you you, how do we get you bright and colorful? How do we get you um, really, you are the abundance. You are the color. You are the art. You know, you are the creative spirit. How do we get you um, to be the reflection of what your art is, right? Like, how do we, how do we get you to be activated on the inside? Um, and if you feel too tired to do that for yourself, you know? So that's the next thing I'm being shown here. I'm going to go check out your root chakra. We'll take a look at your throat too, okay? But I feel like going straight to your feet um, and then I'm going to your root chakra, okay? You're really, um, okay, you have duck feet, um, but they're really long and tall like uh, an ostrich, okay? And they look silly, like... Um, like cartoonish, like really goofy looking, like quack quack, big, big oversized duck feet or something. They're bright orange. And I feel um, like I'm trying to walk awkward, awkwardly, like my knees aren't bending and I'm just two straight poles with big, big webbed feet. And I'm kind of like awkwardly moving, awkwardly walking. And when I try to bend you at the knees, the, the bones break. I actually hear splintering of bones at the knees. Like there never were kneecaps here. And now the legs can um, are bending for like bending like a leg would, but they're also bending backward. Like um, and there's pain in the knees here, so the legs are wobbling now even worse because they're kind of bending forward and backwards, and there's no stability. Gosh, and it's freaking painful. Like every time, I'm like okay, okay, let's put the put the bones back, <laughs> and it's just like ow, oh man, it's terrible. It's absolutely, it's like so painful. <laughs> but we need to we need to work with change, and change can be bone breaking, but it's really not. It's actually. Um, it's actually giving you a, a new sense of your own capacity and what you're capable of. And it's going to feel like a new um, stance, a new balance in your own legs. Um, your legs keep showing me that they're wobbling. Like you've got to be really strong on your soapbox of who you are and um, really own it. you got to really own it. But there's like... Um, rubberiness um there's it's trying to be flexible where it was never flexible before because there was no neat cap and now there's too much flexibility and it's just like what is this 
you got to build up confidence. You got to build it up. Like you got to start seeing, oh my God, you're so, so precious. You know what I mean? You got to start seeing you and really, ah, but not, not just seeing you, like seeing the art because there's another level to art. It's not just what it looks like. It's about how it makes us feel. And if you are art yourself, um, we got to explore you, you know, and your heart and your emotions and your voice and your unique stance on life. Um, so this is part of the message as well. I will say that um, flow and abundance, like um, just reading your energy field, this is a this is something that we all have to work on, but you got to learn how to own it, like own it who you are. How how are you going to do that, you know? Um just try something and then work with it. Like I wasn't there yet when I started my YouTube channel. I I've been trying to I needed to vent. I needed to express my weird experiences. Um, that's why I went for YouTube as an opportunity instead of writing and not having enough time to edit all the writing to just make a video and just talk about things that it was going to be quicker for me. And I had to build confidence and it was through other people that I was able to build that and become the person I am today. So I can't take all the credit. We're here as a collective helping each other out. Um, so you can put it out there. Universe, I want to build, um, I want to be the creative spirit that I am and to own it. Um, and to be strong on my legs, <clears throat> to see the beautiful legs that I have and that I can stand strong in my own style, in my own artistic self, and to love me. Um, and if I can't do it for myself, I open the door for other amazing souls to enter into my life to help me build that courage, help me build that self-love and that strength in me. Um, and that's, that's the next thing. Do that, okay? Um, do that. And expect the universe um, to say, yep, we're all over it. And expect somebody in your life, expect an opportunity in your life. Um, it might be an opportunity to get yourself out there and meet new people. I encourage people to check out meetup.com. Meetup.com. It is not a dating site. It's actually a site where you just... You go to your city and state, but there's meetups all over the world, uh, but you go to your city and state and you just see what local people are up to and there's groups. So there's groups of people that love metaphysical stuff, um, people who love to cook, people who just like to go out to eat and just want to meet local people from town, people who like French, people who like Chinese food, you know, um, people like music, people who like art. So you could actually go to meetup.com and see what groups are in your area. There might be um, one about art or metaphysical or anything um, that might spark you to say, oh, this could be an interesting way to meet new people. Um, just, to change the, just to change the energy flow, just to get you tuning into what others are doing um, and to maybe make some new friends even. You know what I mean? I definitely feel like um, this is a year to start building you and embracing you and bringing in opportunities that help you feel embraced just by being in a, a, a safe environment with other like-minded people who are just super awesome people, you know? Um, it will build you up and look for um, creative ideas. Like, I was going through a really hard time in my life. Like, I've been going through a really hard time in my life many times in my life. Like, when will it end? <laughs> okay, my life has great parts and hard parts, just like everybody else. All right, so I was going through a really hard time. Like, I couldn't live time. Um, and that was, in 2016, was a really, really hard year. Before it even got harder, um, I had a really neat person come into my life and share with me um, a, a plant tincture called Heroes Blend, um, and I felt a transformation and connection with nature that I desperately needed. Um, and that's outside the box of what I would have done for myself. Um, so the universe um, brought people into my life that introduced me to some creative new ways to feel connected, to feel loved, um, to heal. Um, and that 
that was good. Like maybe there's something out there that you can explore crystals, you can explore plant tinctures, you can explore um, other groups. It feels like an, a time for you to really advance, um, to activate, 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 activate through opportunities, through people, through experiences, and really grow and start circulating that energy back into you. Because as that energy, positive, self-loving energy circulates back in, you're going to feel more energized, you're going to feel more inspired, you're going to get it. Some kind of epiphany is going to take place. You're going to start to see it was clear all along. I just couldn't do it because I needed to fill myself with lots of positive new and new experiences and energy. And then that's going to push that clog out. Okay. And um, that's going to push it out and it's going to be easy. And you need to say that this is going to be so easy and it's going to be fun. And it's going to be like, you know, for people who like amusement parks, like <laughs> I get really scared of rides. I have a really weak stomach. Um, so I can't do it, but, um, I could imagine if I wasn't that way, it would be like going to amusement park and there's so many different rides and different experiences and different games and different fun things to do. And, you know, in an amusement park and that life can feel like this too, if we let it. So let your life feel like this. Okay. Let it in, let it in, let it in. You have the creative spirit. Or perhaps the creative spirit that's out there too, you need to let it into yourself as well um, to help rejuvenate you, nurture you, activate you, okay? I'm going to hang in there for just another minute or two. <sighs> yeah, because you need a revival. And I definitely see it in you and in your timeline. Um, the opportunity for um, total, like, People see you, people know who you are, people are aware of you, um, that that can happen in your lifetime, okay? There's something very gentle about your personality. There's something very comforting about your personality. You're not trying to shove yourself down other people's throats. Hello, I'm here. Everybody see me. You know, you're just like, you're there and you're open for those people who might be open to, you know, meeting you, you know. So there's something kind of like that um, going on in your energy field. <laughs> it's really like pleasant for me because it's not overwhelming at all. You're super easy to take in and you're super sweet. I think I feel like it just still feels like you're at the beginning of like a really extraordinary adventure of discovering who you really are. And we're still at the beginning of it. Um, opportunities to come in, right. Um, to help introduce you to yourself. I mean, it's just, it, whenever I look at your timeline, it's like we're at the beginning of what becomes and then becomes more and then becomes more. And then it, like your growth in this life, it's incredible. Um, but it all is up to you, okay? Because it's not, it, this this timeline um, is pretty loud. I can tap into it. It's there for you. Um, but it's up to you, Right. Um, you reaching out and getting this session with me is the is planting the seed and activating the epiphany um, to approach life like um, to welcome the creative spirit in. I don't know my my whole being is just like wow. Um, sometimes I don't even know what to say right now. I just okay. I'm gonna chill out and I'm gonna collect myself and I'm gonna return to communication. Okay, is that the throat? Is that the throat going on here? Okay. All right, I will just really quickly look at your throat chakra. <sighs> yeah, I just see um, you're timid. Um, like I see you in an art gallery and you're kind of standing away where, where you're, and you're not wearing like, everybody in the art gallery is interacting and they seem really like comfortable in their own skin and they're socializing, they're laughing and they could be very shallow conversations, but like then some of them aren't like, there's just like all different types here, but everybody seems to be in sync with each other. And you're just kind of like kind of standing over there and you're not like really sure how to have, um, how to be in the flow or in sync with all these different um, types of people that are here and how to activate a conversation or how to get into that niche. 
And it's like, you've got to build yourself. And when you have confidence in yourself, you're going to draw the people into your niche. But you have to, it's almost like positive self-talk, believing in yourself, not being afraid to express who you are, express yourself to the world, um, but really seeing and, and cherishing you. It just feels like this year, though, like get yourself out there and have some new experiences. Um, that's going to start to loosen this clog up and start f for you to love yourself, um, rehabilitate this, this spirit inside yourself. Um, that's what keeps coming to me. Thank you so much for this experience. <sighs> mm. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just like glowing right now. <sighs> I'm gonna relax and collect myself again. Is this a you thing or is this a me thing? I, <laughs> but I'm really happy right now. I'm really happy for you. I'm really happy you reached out. And I'm really happy to share this message with you because I think it's the beginning of some um, really special changes. All right. Thank you again. For those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I have two other YouTube channels. Um, you can check me out at Abby Normal and Zodiac Energy Readings. Um, I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right. Have a great day, everybody.